You're watching the extreme season on Film 4. Tonight, a return to form for William Friedkin, the director behind such masterpieces as The Exorcist and The French Connection, and in my opinion, his best and most distinctive work since the hell-raising days of cruising. <coughs> Bug, which Friedkin describes as the most intense piece of work I've ever done, began life as a stage play by Tracy Letts. Having first made a name for himself directing adaptations of Harold Pinter's The Birthday Party and Mark Crowley's The Boys in the Band, Friedkin had vowed never to adapt another stage play for the screen again. Yet Bug, with its visceral depiction of the kind of irrational fear and paranoia which seemed to be sweeping Europe and America, struck Friedkin as profoundly cinematic, provocative and disturbing. <laughs> and offered a chance to get back to the kind of stripped-down confrontational fare which was once his forte. His wife, studio head Sherry Lansing, told him he was crazy, a declaration which merely seems to have lit a fire under the notoriously headstrong Hurricane Billy. Made for a comparatively minuscule $4 million budget, as opposed to the 50 or $60 million of Freakin's previous films, Rules of Engagement and The Hunted, Bug was shot on a tight schedule in southern Louisiana in the summer of 2005, and the production wrapped just days before Hurricane Katrina ravaged the area. The cast includes Michael Shannon, who had previously appeared in the stage play, and who has since carved out a niche for himself as cinema's favourite screen psycho in films like Revolutionary Road, Take Shelter, and My Son, My Son, What Have Ye Done, with even the fearless Werner Herzog declaring him to be a quite terrifying presence. <laughs> Certainly, plenty of people who saw Bug at the Cannes Film Festival were terrified or disturbed enough to storm out of the screening, despite the fact that this is really not a visually explicit film. Rather, it's a film of terrifying ideas, in which the extremity is in the intensity of the piece, and of which esteemed critic Roger Ebert noted that it was the first time he'd felt scared for the actors. Friedkin loved these divisive responses to Bug, citing the first performance of Stravinsky's Rite of Spring in Paris, where the audience broke out into fist fights and comparing Tracy Letts stage play to the rabble-rousing theatre of Clifford Odets. His work with Letts again for his new film, Killer Joe, which has run into trouble with the American censors for its graphic, aberrant content, although for my money, that's a less powerful work than Bug. This is Friedkin at his very best, raw, stripped down, intense, not a little mad, and utterly uncompromised.